Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to me. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yep, it's uh, Pack Cracking Friday. It's Christmas Saturday. It's a good weekend. So I got six. These, these were in my stocking. My sweetie loves me. She bought me packs. Anyways, let's see if we can find something awesome. Oh, forgot these are the Japanese ones. Let's open them like this. Not a big fan of the Japanese style, but hey. Let's see what we get here. Nice swamp. Ooh, Shattered Sanctum. That's actually a land I don't have all yet, I don't think. And that's a full art. That's nice. We'll put that one up there. There's this Bloodseeker and all that. Those are good. Okay. Any, uh, what do they call them? Vampire frames? Nope. Okay. I like these uh, lands. They're actually really good. And uh, I keep forgetting. Still good in the commander sets. So they're really nice. The fact that we got the enemy ones now, so that's just kind of cool. Insect. Ooh, Child of the Pack. In foil. That's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The rare mythic is... Oh, wait, no, it's a swamp. So we get to look at the back side of this one. Savage pack mate. This one's already in my... I'm probably going to replace the one that's in my wolf deck with this one because it's kind of cool. I like that. Foil. And the rare mythic is... Sigarda Summons. I already have that one. It's cool. It's good for an enchantment deck. We'll put regular ones there. Brian, Cathars. Markov's Retribution. Ooh. Hmm. Um, so I'm going to put out a, what do they call it? Uh, another commander build, one of my commander decks, um, primarily just because I haven't done one in a while and I kind of walked away from it and I don't know why, because I do like, I still play commander. I mean, I, I'm still make decks. I don't know why I'm not. Showing off my decks. Planes. Dying to serve. This is actually a really good card if you're discarding. Um, I mean, you only discard once a turn. It only get, helps you one time a turn. But if you're discarding once a turn, then it kind of helps you. It gives you creatures. So I don't... I like it, It's but it's not that impactful. Heroes downfall. They downgraded heroes downfall um it's not that impactful and the question i would have on that one yeah it doesn't say enters the um graveyard or anything like that it just says discard so if you discard to exile that still counts i believe you know because if somebody has rest in peace out there and it's discarding to exile Oh, well, see, that's why I don't like these. Um, it should still count. I mean, Japanese packs sometimes can be a pain to open if you don't get it right. And of course, you don't want to damage your cards. Come on. A uh, human token. Sacrificial lamb. We call him Steve. Planes. And, ooh, there's Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Crimson Bride. There we go. Four black and a red. Legendary creature. Flying. Or I'm sorry. Vampire Noble. Flying with haste. Whenever she attacks. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tapped and attacking. It gains when you when you don't control a legendary vampire. Exile this card. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to put him right up there with the Shattered Sanctum. Because that's a good card. Skull Scab. Um, and I've been making a couple of decks, some of them just because it's, uh, of the sets. Um, I did make a wolf, werewolf deck. I did make a, um, vampire deck. My vampire deck is just black and white. Um, I like the Mardu, but I don't have any good Mardu commanders. I don't have Edgar Markov, so... 
I don't have any Mardu, really good Mardu commanders for a Mardu vampire deck. I had a vampire deck, Mardu vampire deck. I used, what was her name? I don't remember the name of the lady. Um, she gave you Monarch. And she was an honorary vampire, but she wasn't a vampire, so I don't know. Wasn't, I mean, it wasn't impactful. Oh, there you go. Averbrook Caretaker. Uh, four and two green hexproof at the beginning of your combat on your turn. Put two one one counters on another target creature you control, and it has day bound. And then when it goes to night bound, Hollow Henge Hunt Master hexproof. Other permanents you control have hexproof. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put two one one counters on each creature you control. I like that. So that will be going into my werewolf deck for sure. For sure, for sure. Griff and Honeymoon Hearse and Reclusive Taxidermy. So maybe the first, maybe the first, uh... anyways, maybe the first one we go through is, uh, is my werewolf deck. Last pack to crack. Last one to open. This one. This one, the, the packaging has been abused. Um, anyways, looks like everything is good on the inside. Maybe cut weird. Hmm. Daybound, nightbound. Planes and the rare mythic is... Dun, 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 dun. Woo, there we go. Halana and Ilana, partners. Two, a red and a green. Human Ranger. First strike with reach at the at the beginning of combat on your turn. Put an X-1-1 one, one counter on another target creature you control where X is Halana Alana's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. That's not bad. I'm gonna look at that one again. Nothing special. Nothing special. Sink paint. Sorry, that last one didn't come up right. Bleed Dry, actually a fun card in, uh, in Limited. It's a fun card to just trash people with. Let's take a look at that card again. Japanese ones have that raised ink, which is really kind of cool. I like that, as opposed to the uh, uh, American versions, which don't have the raised ink. It's actually a really good card. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this opening. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Have a great day.